Okay, Stephen Key here, and guess what? I'm in Cairo, I'm in front of the Great Pyramids, and I'm having an absolutely fantastic time. And in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my book, One Simple Idea, and why you need to read it. So please stay tuned, and you will not regret it. <laughs> Back in 2011, I got a call from a vice president of McGraw-Hill in the San Francisco office. And he said, Steve, you need to write a book. And I'm like, what for? And he said, look, you've got this great information. You're helping people all around the world on how they can bring their creativity to market. You need to put it in a book. And that's exactly what I did. I put all this information I'm gonna share with you in this video, I put in my book, plus much, much more, because I know if you're creative, and you don't know what to do with that creativity and you do not want to start a business, how can you bring that creativity to market? And I'm going to show you in my book, One Simple Idea. And that's why I'm doing this video and I'm in Cairo, Egypt. <laughs> One Simple Idea. When I first started out in this whole process, all I wanted to do was to be creative. I did not want to take a day job and I did not want to work for somebody else. I wanted to be creative and share my creativity with the world. And I found a process that just worked for someone like me. I did not want to start a business. I did not want to have employees. I didn't think I had the skills or the time or even the desire to start a business but I wanted to be creative. And I was able to learn this business model early in my career, watching Ken Forsay license Teddy Ruxman to a company called World's Wonder. And he did something my father used to talk about. He said, Steve, in order for you to create great wealth, you're going to have to find something that has a multiplying effect, something that does not require your hands and something that does not require your presence. And I learned that important lesson watching Teddy Ruxpin go off that assembly line in China. And that inventor, Ken Forsey, was not there. He was not using his hands. And he had that multiplying effect because he was collecting a million dollars a month in royalties. That's when it hit me like a ton of bricks. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to license or rent my creativity to companies that are already in business, that already have the shelf space, that already have the relationships, that have everything done so I can show those, those companies my ideas and they can do all the heavy lifting for me. Okay, all right. One of the reasons why I'm here in Cairo so I was asked to speak at this wonderful event called Rise Up Summit. And there's over 250 speakers. They invited me to give a keynote on how to license your own ideas. But what's really fantastic, someone that has read one simple idea and watched the videos on EventRight TV, and now Muhammad Ali, the gentleman from Cairo, has licensed his simple idea, which is now selling all across the world and the name of that idea is called the power lock it's simple it's brilliant and he followed the advice that i provide in one simple idea today i have a special guest all the way from where where Tyre. Where? From Cairo, Egypt. Wow. So let's talk about your product for just a minute. In fact, we're going to show up on the screen what it is. But tell us what the problem is and how you solved it. The problem is uh, that uh, it's about a uh, locking mechanism for uh, a plug, uh, for the plug, for the European plug especially. The plug was uh rounded pins so you're from egypt are you an engineer but by, by trade what, what do you do my background is aerospace engineering but i had uh i'm 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 i'm, I'm fond of new ideas and inventions so i uh i keep uh, searching on internet how to you know i get advantages of the of the um, of my um, uh, ideas and my 
my uh, uh, new inventions. So I uh, that's why I went to internet and searched for your your book. One simple idea. Did it help? Sure. <laughs> you know, I, I I followed carefully the steps, step by step, starting from chapter one, the power of simple idea, and and until uh, and and putting through also. Okay. Uh, prototyping and um, idea validation, uh, protection also, I mean. And uh, I found also, uh, I, I generate leads and I connect them and I made the contract and, and guess what? I'm now in the last chapter, living the dream. <laughs> so, um, I'm so happy for you, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs>
It's gonna go through all the steps that you need to learn how to license your own ideas. But it's gonna start at the very beginning, and we call that studying the marketplace. How to determine if you have a new idea and if you should go forward. After you determine that you do have a new idea, it's gonna talk a little bit about how to increase your chances of success by coming up with more ideas. Now, once you get the green light and you know you have a new idea, it's gonna show you how to market that idea, how to put together the right sell sheet with the right marketing copy so companies are gonna be interested in it. Also, before you send it off to those companies, it's gonna talk about how do you protect it with the real, well-written provisional patent application that's done in such a way companies see the value in your idea. So once you've done those steps and now you're ready to reach out to those companies, it's gonna show you how to do it the right way to find the right people. And once they're interested in your idea, what happens when you get the licensing agreement? We're gonna go through all the different things in a licensing agreement, such as what's the right royalty rate, how to protect myself with audit clauses, and also how to make sure they're performing to keep those royalties coming in. All that's gonna be included. So please, if you're interested in learning about how to license your idea, one simple idea has all the information you're going to need.